do you feel like you need to show the passing game? Where are you at with the passing game? Where are you passing conditions? And, well, you know. yeah, I was going to say, hopefully it's not raining, you know, as hard as it was last week. You know, obviously, whatever, uh, you know, whatever we got to do to win the ball game and, and play well, you know, I think uh, uh, they're obviously the second half provided some, you know, dynamics for us with the weather. I know. Third quarter, I get on the phone with Adrian, and he's like, Coach, he goes, the ball's never been this heavy for me. <laughs> it was just full of water. But, uh, you know, our guys battled through it, and, and uh, you know, obviously there's it hasn't been a pick one way or the other of saying, hey, this is this week we got to do this or not or whatever. It's just kind of the game flow and how it's been. And, and uh, you know, but we're, uh, we're ready and excited to obviously throw it around when we need to. And, and uh that part of the game. So Tulane's taking care of business two weeks in a row, but can you learn much from those games? Uh, two two hard games to watch, you know, as far as film film study and uh, you know, they they've been able to be pretty vanilla in, in things, but uh, you know, Coach Fritz and their whole staff, they, you know, they do a really nice job. They're well coached, they're fundamental and then they're gonna do what they do and have done for a little bit. So uh, you know, it's it's gonna be a good uh, a good test for us. We saw a lot of Ben Senate in the slot. How much are you just experimenting with these first couple of games and trying out different moving parts? Yeah, you know, we, we're very uh, – I love working with our guys. And we have a lot of smart football players. They're allowing us to do and, and put some people in different places and different personnel groups, um, you know, that they can put pressure on people, you know. And, and Ben's one of those guys. And, and uh, you know, being able to be multiple and move guys around is one of our strengths. Talk a little bit about the weather um, against Missouri, but that first drive there wasn't any rain, and Adrian threw for more yards than he did against South Dakota. Is that kind of how you anticipate um, the, the the game looking against Tulane? Yeah, you know, like I said, I mean, I we, we can throw the football. You know, we got great receivers. You know, we got a good quarterback. I've been very uh, pleased with his decision making, and he definitely, you know, is is processing the game at at a really high clip and and. You know, protecting us in certain runs, protecting some passes that you know he's checked out of because of certain pressure looks that he's seen, and and is taking the game as it comes. So you know, it's not something that I want to force. You know, uh, but I, I think it'll be a more natural flow. Hopefully, as you know, as we move forward. You threw out a trick play there. Kate almost getting to throw the ball was. The anticipation that the backside safety might not be as disciplined as he actually should. Uh, he did a nice job. You know, he got us, and, and Cade, Cade saved me on that one. You know, I owe him lunch. So <laughs> he was uh, pretty disappointed. He did not get to throw it. Were you really looking forward to the gadget play if it had worked out? Uh you know, I, you know, we had a decent look for it. You know, on tape and uh, backside corner wasn't over as, as much as we had, you know, as much as we had thought. And down in, in a short yardage situation in the red zone, we got it. It all had kind of come together, you know, for us of, of knowing when we wanted to do it and where we wanted to do it. And, and uh, you know, Cade studies his butt off and, and knew exactly who it was that we needed to, to influence. And and uh, credit to them, they covered it, and he still got us first down. So, you know, no worries there. Coach, obviously Adrian comes to K-State with a rough history of turnovers, interceptions, fumbles. Um, how did you go about trying to work those things out of his game um, since the spring, really? Well, first of all, and, and it's something you know that we talk about, and I tell all my guys, you know, you can't play quarterback afraid to make a mistake, um, thinking, "Hey, I can't turn this over." You play tense, you second guess yourself, you then see ghosts at times, and, and all all those things. So it's you got to take the game as it comes. You know, you got to understand uh, schematically what we're trying to accomplish based on what defensive look they end up giving us. And, uh, and, and you know, and, and don't feel like we have to do anything. You know, it's, there's, you never have to make the throw. Uh, take it as it comes when you see it, react and, and pull the trigger. And, and uh, you know, he's done a great job of that and, and something that, you know, we just got to keep moving forward and keep getting better. You know, I think offensively, he's, you know, he's made a lot of big plays for us and, and you know, we've left some plays out there at times, but, um, you know, I, there, there's a lot ahead of this group and, and just working to get better is, is something I'm excited about. Can you explain what areas he's really grown in that turnover pre prevention kind of space of his game since getting to Kansas State? Uh, I think he's been patient. You know, it, he, he's been uh, phenomenal for me that way is, is understanding. I mean, he's up here watching tape all the time, so he, he prepares very hard. He understands the, you know, the 
look, we're going to get 60% of the time, 30% of the time, and then the, you know, the curveball that, you know, uh, you, you don't know if you'll see it or not. And so he, uh, he categorizes that, he understands it, and, and uh, again, he's, um, he, he's doing a great job. Well, Howard's kind of in a unique situation where, you know, he's not necessarily the backup every week, even though he's listed as the backup. How's he preparing for each game knowing that he might not be needed unless something weird happens? You know, uh, Will's an unbelievable uh, young man, top to bottom, and he's uh, completely unselfish. Um, it's always team first with him. It's, it has been since he's been here. Uh, he's extremely hardworking, extremely cerebral, one of the smartest kids I've, I've, I've ever been around and, and ever coached for sure at any position. And he, uh, you know, I think he gets it. I think he understands that, uh, you know, we're trying to, to, to do what's, what's best for him as well, you know, in, in a situation. and. And uh, you know, it's I'm, I know it's difficult, but uh, uh, but he's he's done a great job of coming to coming to work every day and hasn't changed his approach at all. Can you go back and look at that Missouri game? Coach Kleiman talked about how hard it was to rotate guys because of the rain and them staying on the sideline and, and how cold it was. Um, is that something that you guys were talking about during the game, or did it just kind of happen like that? Um, you know, it's something that in any game, you know, if you, especially if you get a extended period of time, whether it's a long drive on one side and then a special team score or something like that that creates a, you know, a longer rest time in between, trying to make sure that you're staying dry, staying loose, you know, getting snaps or whatever it happens to be to, to be ready to go. Because that's from a player and then even you know, now as a coach's part, you know, that's, that's a little bit out of your control, right? Hey, when we're on the field, we got to go, we got to be sharp, be ready. And, and however and whenever that happens, you just kind of got to not think about anything else and, and focus on what you can control. You mentioned uh, Adrian Martinez's patience has been an asset. How difficult is it for you to be patient when you're kind of kind of feel handcuffed probably a little bit by the conditions and stuff like that? You know, again, it's it's about I think for all of us, myself, them, it's it's about accomplishing the mission. You know, and and we've been fortunate to uh, to play well enough to do that the first two weeks. Um, you know, we're, uh, my message to them and, and us as an offense, my position group as the quarterbacks is, hey, we got to be the best we can be and, and take what they give us. And, and uh, that's been our focus. It's been about us. It's been about getting better. And, and, and I know we got a lot more in us in, in a lot of areas. And, and that's the exciting part. And our guys have embraced that. And, and uh, it's not, I'm not uh, overly anxious or, um, you know, one way or the other, just again, enjoying that process of getting better, learning, improving at, uh, at every position. It's, it's been a lot of fun. What can you say about how, what Deuce has been able to do the first two games? Deuce is Deuce. I'm not, I'm not surprised, you know, one, uh, not one bit. I mean, he's uh, top shelf in, in, in every area. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you see his notebook from the week of him watching tape on his own, and it's, I mean, it's, it's darn near a novel, you know? <laughs> I mean, truly, it's, and, uh, you know, it's just he's, uh, he's, he's special, uh, totally, un, you know, unselfish, too. I mean, you watch, I mean, he's sprung two touchdowns just by his blocking, you know, and, and if that's what he's called to do on that play. And so, uh, you know, it's an uh, honor to coach him, honor that he's, you know, he's on our team and, and a Wildcat, so. How much does it facilitate your playmaking, your play calling abilities, given uh, Adrian's fifth year status and his play fake abilities? Oh, I, I think our, uh, again, just try to put as much pressure on people uh, in, his, in as many ways as we possibly can, you know, and that's obviously with 22, it's with, you know, uh, play action pass, and then obviously with, you know, Adrian's ability to run as well, and, and always just trying to find the, you know, the best mix of all three and, and what gives us the best chance with, you know, the lowest percentage of risk and, and uh, obviously execute and play clean and, and eliminate self-inflicted wounds. You never got to wear special uniforms under Coach Snyder. Would you have liked to like they are this week? You know, uh, it, you know, of course, it, 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 it would have been cool, but at the same time, hey, we, you know, we have a mission and, and a, lot to, a lot to do on the field and that's what matters.